dishes. For many years now, Russia has been pushing the misconception that many of the world's famous dishes are their national cuisine. Russians even consider the iconic, ancient Ukrainian dish, borscht, to be their own. But it's one of the fundamental dishes, without which it's impossible to imagine the Ukrainian cuisine. At different times, borscht was cooked according to different recipes with various sets of products. Moreover, borscht may have differed regionally, but every housewife had her own recipe. Borscht is as old as kutya or bread. No one knows exactly when it was first cooked. The oldest written mention of borscht dates back to 1584, when German merchant Martin Grunewig visited Kiev and described this extremely popular and widespread dish among Rusyns, i.e. Ukrainians. There are three main types of borscht, namely red with beets, greens with sorrel, and kolodnik, cold borscht. Sourness is one of the distinctive features of borscht. There are also a lot of variations of borscht, it can be with or without meat, cabbage, mushrooms, or dumplings with garlic, or with galushkas, cherries, and many other versions. Only on July 1, 2022, borscht was included in the intangible cultural heritage of UNESCO. This marked a logical conclusion in the confrontation with Russia for the right to call borscht a Ukrainian national dish. The ancient Ukrainian drink kvass was known in Rus. Grand Prince Volodymyr the Great, following his baptism, ordered to distribute food, honey, and kvass to the citizens of Kievian Rus. Accordingly, a kroshka, which the Russians also consider their own, is a summer dish of the Ukrainians from the times of Rus called kolodnik. The name a kroshka comes from to sprinkle, and kolodnik from cold. Klodnik borscht was cooked in the summer on kvass, sour milk, or bee kvass, dressed with sour cream with cucumbers or other vegetables and greens. It was a raw borscht, since only beets and, when possible, eggs were cooked. There are also fruit varieties of akroshka. For example, in the Carpathians, it's apple, pear, plum, cherry, raspberry, azanivka from blackberry, horichnivka from ribes. Kapushnik, cabbage soup, is another national dish of Ukrainian cuisine. It was also appropriated by the Muscovites and called shi. Kapustniak has been known since the times of Rus, when cabbage was first cultivated there. It's much easier and faster to cook than borscht and requires fewer ingredients. It was a meal of mostly poor people in the less fertile northern lands, so in Muscovy it became more popular and cult-like. A well-known Russian saying confirms it, porridge and cabbage soup is but our native food. In Ukraine, Kapustniak was cooked in a more abundant way, with pork and some other vegetables. Russians also attribute to she the Ukrainian green borscht made of sorrel. Mlinsi, Ukrainian thin pancakes, known since the time of Rus, were also appropriated by Muscovites, who call them blini. Mlinsi, or lavish, are known in many other nations. Serniki is the national Ukrainian dish, which is made from homemade cheese, called tovorog in Russian, but they also call this dish cherniki. Easter Pascha is considered a festive bread not only among Ukrainians, but also among many other European nations. Russians also prepare Pascha, but they call it Kulich. They also appropriated pies with different fillings. The Russians also appropriated Ukrainian kvashnenya, pickled vegetables and fruits, jam, which were known and widespread in Rus. Kolodets is also known since the times of Rus. It's considered a national dish both in Ukraine and in Poland, Romania, and Belarus. In Ukraine, it's usually made at Christmas time. Horilka, or as Russians call it, vodka, was first invented in the Persian alchemist Abu Muhammad ar Razi in the 10th century and was used for medical purposes. In those days, in Russia, prepared and used weaker alcoholic beverages, beer and drinking honeys, med or mid, literally honey, was very common in the times of the Grand Princes. Horilka is a strong 40-degree drink appeared in the Ukrainian lands in the 14th and 15th centuries. Later, in the second half of the 17th century, the Cossacks exported Horika or Okovita, as they called it, to the Moscow Kingdom. The Muscovites called this wheat vodka Cherkasy wine. Finally, there are a variety of porridges which the Russians consider their own dishes. But in fact, it's an everyday meal of the Rysons, Ukrainians, and Rus in even more ancient times. The ancestors of Ukrainians from the time of the Tripilia culture were cereal growers and had been growing grains on the territory of modern Ukraine for thousands of years. 
In the forest steppe zone on fertile black soils, these grains grow better. There have long been used to eat a variety of dishes made of grain which are called porridges. Because of the unfavorable climate in the northern swampy forested lands of the Russians' ancestors, grains hardly ever yield crops. Therefore, real Russian cuisine and traditional dishes are very poor, so they appropriated most of the dishes from the Ukrainians and other nations. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, like the video, and subscribe.